Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. It's supposed to be nice outside today, but it's supposed to start raining and storming later. But right now, there's like a huge yellow haze outside, um, and that is because of the pollen. Yay for pollen! <laughs> this is pollen season in Georgia, and everything turns yellow. I can't open the windows and let some nice fresh air in because if I do, I get pollen all in my house. It's all over everything the floors, our bedding, our tables, our chairs, everything. Windows because if I do, I just let all the pollen in and then it's like a pain in the butt to clean and then it's all nasty and stuff. So <clears throat> it's actually made my throat a little scratchy because I was out in it yesterday with London. And um, I would go outside and do a walk, but I can't inhale that stuff because it like, <clears throat> it gets in my throat and it makes it a little scratchy. So, uh, you know, there's always something, right? Um, but anyway, nonetheless. We will get to the walking very, very soon. Um, Brian is has to go to North, North Georgia today. He doesn't have to work tomorrow. He's off because of Good Friday. Um, but he took my car today. Um, so I am homebound for the day. I didn't have any plans anyway. I wasn't going to go anywhere. Um, I was just, uh, yay, happy to stay home actually today and, and just do stuff around the house. Um, I'm actually going to do my daily morning routine is basically all the stuff that I do every day is just kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit, straighten it up, wipe down the cabinets or wipe down the counters. Um, make up the bed, do some laundry. Um, that is my, my main goal today is to get laundry done um, because we are going to be leaving next, well, we're going to be gone next week. We're leaving Sunday uh, for Tennessee to spend Easter with my family. We're going to stay the night at my mom and dad's house Sunday night. And then um, Monday through Thursday, we are going to be a whole week in Huntsville um, because Brian has business to take care of there. So that's where we are going to be for the whole entire of next week. I have videos going up. So um, I, I'm not sure how I'll be able to do like daily vlogs while I'm there. I'll still be vlogging, but those might have to come up in the next week because I um, I don't know how well the, the internet's going to be there. Um, sometimes it's very slow. Like here, I can upload a video. I can start editing at like 3 o'clock. And I know by like 6 o'clock, it's it's getting it's processing up to YouTube so that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say so it takes a while for it to process and all that good stuff so I'm not sure how long it's going to take at a hotel or whatever because sometimes even though they have wi-fi it still sucks and it's not a very quick so I try to have videos up for you guys um next week so you guys um have something to watch next week while I'm in Huntsville but you guys can actually follow along with me because I definitely will be doing um, pictures and stuff um, all the time. Follow me on Facebook um, at Angie in Wonderland. You can also follow me on Twitter, um, hashtag, let's see, at um, Angie underscore Cato. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which is Angie in the letter in Cato. Um, so go ahead and follow me over there if that's what you guys want to do. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get my day started. I have Tons of stuff I've got to get done today. Plus, i got to start packing and going through some of the travel bags, making sure that we have everything, um, ref uh, everything refilled since our Gatlinburg trip or whatever. So I'm going to be going through all that stuff today. <sighs> it's just going to be one of those days. But i got to get this stuff done because obviously the weekend is coming. And Saturday, Brian and I, we want to work outside of the house on Saturday. Um, and get some stuff done around there. Like I want to finish spray painting my um, chairs for the front porch and get all that stuff cleaned up. So yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So hang out with me today as I get some stuff done around here. So you guys, I just um, posted stuff in my Posh Market closet. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just selling three items for not right now because I just want to see how well it works and see if it goes well. Um, but I did post like this um, striped sweatshirt or sweater type of deal and then I posted, um, what else did I post? Two pair of jeans from Old Navy, um, size 16. One is original, one is a sweetheart brand. Um, but anyway, I have them on there for $10 each so i'm just i'm like i said i'm not sure how well they're gonna go i'm just curious to see if this actually works i hear a lot of people talk so many good things about it so if you guys are interested in my uh, poshmark closet um you can find me um up here I'm not exactly sure where i've all figured out you can find me in my poshmark closet um angie M, I guess it says I don't know what that what is up there Angie M but that's what you can look for that's what um 
there it is at angie kato that's what it is um so you guys can find me on poshmark if you guys are interested in shopping my closet um i'll see how well this goes and if it continues to go really well or if it takes off really well by me selling some of my clothes on here i will definitely um uh do it more often and then if you guys wanted to follow me you guys could so anyway i'm excited to see how well this goes i'll keep you guys posted Alrighty guys, so I just got done doing two videos that's going to go up. One's going to go up Saturday, um, and I think I might put the other one up on Sunday. That way you guys can have two DIYs back to back because they kind of like both go together. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys what I made so you guys can have like kind of an idea of what they actually are. Um, they are so pretty i absolutely love them they're house beads and somebody asked me what is house beads and i didn't know that's what they were called either i just kind of like decorative beads bead garland whatever but they're called house beads and they add so much character um, to your home decor and i knew that if i tried to make them i could, totally could and london is actually making them as well and hers are fantastic um, but here's mine. I'm going to show you guys how I did mine. And this is the one that I just finished up. And this is basically what you do with them. You just kind of leave them sit, you know, somewhere in your house, just like this. And you add the little tassels on the end and you just, that's what they look like. And they're so freaking cute. I love them. And I actually have like this pair, I, I made this one, then I made another one out there. I made two, uh, I made three actually. Um, but they, they're just so cute and I love them. So if you guys are interested in making your own little uh, house beads to put around your house or even for Christmas, think about Halloween, Christmas, Easter, how cute these were gonna be like for different holidays. You can do different colors and stuff on them. Oh my God, new obsession, new obsession. Yeah, um, it's almost lunchtime. It's so funny. Brian called me like around 1030 and he said, I just got here um, to where he was going up in North Georgia and he goes, and I'm leaving. And I'm like, oh no, why? He goes, the guy's done. He only needed me for about five minutes and I'm heading back to the office. I'm like, oh my God. So he had to drive an hour and a half up that way just for five minutes and then drive all the way back. Eh, that's annoying. But anyway, um, and we have to go back up that way on Sunday because we're going to Tennessee. So Anyway, um, yeah, so he's on his way back to the office, which is no big deal, but I'm going to go ahead and have some lunch and then I'm going to get started on my afternoon in Wonderland headquarters, trying to pull out my suitcase, my bag, and trying to get some stuff, um, packed for the weekend, trying to see what I need. I don't want to, I'm still doing laundry too, so I got to worry about all that. So anyway, okay, check me out later. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I'm back in Wonderland headquarters this afternoon and I am getting together all of our stuff that we are going to need for our trip next week. Um, it is a business trip that Brian is going to be going on Monday through Thursday. We are going to be in Huntsville, Alabama and Sunday morning we are leaving um, to go spend Easter with my family, having dinner and then staying the night with my mom and dad. So we are going to be gone from Sunday until next Thursday. So I have got to pack quite a few clothing items for us, socks, undies, the whole kit and caboodle. Brian actually has to have some business attire, dress pants, his shoes, um, his work shirts um, with his logo on it. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. He, I have to go pick up his pants tomorrow at the dry cleaner. Oh, I forgot I had makeup on today. <laughs> um, I have to go pick up his pants tomorrow, the dry cleaners, and then he'll be all set for his pants. And then all of his shirts just get hung up in the truck, which that's what we are bringing is the truck because he has to bring um, a fold out screen, a TV monitor, all that good stuff. So we are gonna be traveling in the truck this week. So that's always fun. But I wanna show you guys again, Basically the same stuff as I used before travel wise um, since we're gonna be gone Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday five days I'm actually just going to use this um, Little suitcase here that I have I absolutely love this little suitcase um, It's has all the little nice convenient places uh, That I need to store things my socks my undies everything fits so nicely in here um, Everything folds up really really nicely as well. It's got two pockets on each side, which I absolutely love and um, <clears throat> this also has a little mesh pocket on the sides over here and then this one um, you can actually put other stuff in here uh, with a mesh pocket but it's got plastic to cover it so it doesn't um, spill or leak or get the material ruined or anything like that 
Um, it also zips up really, really nicely. It's got two nice handles up here at the top that you can hold on to, and it also has a little roller um, handle where you can roll it around, which is really, really nice and convenient as well. I also like the fact that it has um, a pocket up here in the front, really nice deep pocket up here in the front, which I probably need to clean out my trash from it. It's from when we flew to Vegas last year. And then, um, it's got another nice size pocket up here in the front where you can hold like a laptop, um, your car, your uh, air, flight information, anything like that that you need to hold in here. So it's really, really nice. It's got another nice mesh pocket right up here at the top which I really, really like. Lots of storage inside of here. Very, very nice um, little handy bag. And it actually, you can put on a plane as well. You can actually put it on an airplane and it um, sits right underneath the seat in front of you. So it's a really, really nice um, <clears throat> piece of luggage to have with you. I like it. I've always liked it and I keep using it. Um, if you guys are interested in this bag, you guys can find it in the links below. Um, I bought it off of Amazon and they still have them available and I will go ahead and put it in the uh, description box below so you guys can click on it if you guys want it. It's really good. It's, I think it was under 60 bucks and it's definitely worth it for like a quick weekend trip or something like that. And it definitely holds a lot more than you'd think that it would. So if you guys want it, I'd go get it. Alrighty, so basically what I'm doing here is I am just going through my travel bag just to see um, all the stuff that I need to put back in here from when we were in Gatlinburg a couple of weeks ago. A lot of stuff gets scattered. I just kind of throw things back in here when we're about ready to leave. So I wanted to make sure that I had my clips and my ponytail things inside of here, my little canister with all my ponytail clips inside of here. Um, <clears throat> so basically that's what I keep inside of here. And then I just keep it inside of my little travel bag. I want to make sure that I have all the things that I need, my hair products, um, my little gel cream that I put in my hair, my spray that I keep in my hair. I just want to make sure that I have everything um, that's full and nothing is empty or um, that I need to fill up anything. So that's basically what I do to check all this. Um, I have all this, I have this, which is good, and then of course my brush that stays inside of here as well. So that's pretty much um, done. I just want to put it over here just to know that I have everything that I need. And then over here is where I will store um, some of our um, medical stuff. This is like aspirin, or Icy Hot that we need, um, my, uh, what is this, Azo that I use, my... Um, probiotics I keep in here, um, anything else that we might need, aspirin, so all that stuff stays in here, Brian's medical stuff stays in here as well, his heart pills stay in there, and then this is what I put my uh, makeup in, um, it, ho it holds all of my brushes, which is really, really nice, I love this thing, I got this at Walmart, um, and I just put everything else in here that I need, so, um, and then of course my curling iron um, bag is over here too, that I have, um, I will um, keep that out. That way, that's the last minute thing that I have to put inside of my bag. And then, of course, everything inside of here. Um, my travel mirror, my hair dryer, and all of my toiletries inside of that little blue bag inside of there. So, basically, that is what I have gotten started so far. Um, I put some socks and stuff in Brian's bag, but I think I'm going to have to take those out because he can't wear those socks with his dress pants. So, those are just going to be for, like, when he can wear jeans. I kind of have a shirt hanging out over here because I possibly might bring that. I'm not sure yet. I think I want to wear a cute little dress on Sunday to go to my mom and dad's house. That stuff still has to go to the to the Goodwill. I haven't taken it yet because I'm still piling stuff on there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm just trying to get um, all of our stuff together for this weekend. <sighs> okay, packing is such a pain in the butt sometimes because I did it again. Packing is such a pain in the butt sometimes because... I, um, I like to have like a pair of shoes to match like all my outfits. So like if I wear my little dress on Sunday, I'm going to wear my black sandals. So I got to try to figure out if I can wear black sandals with everything for the rest of the week. I also check the weather to see what the weather is going to be. Um, because if I have to wear jeans or if I can wear shorts or if I can wear a cute little dress or whatever, it's all going to determine what I pack. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting around to it. Um, I gotta go take some clothes out of the laundry and then put them in the dryer and fold some.
I've brought another load of laundry in to do. I'm um, fold these up. I just put some more in the washing machine and in the dryer. So I've been quite busy and I've actually also swept the floor in there, not in here yet, um, but I swept the floor in there and mopped it just a little bit in the living room. Um, I really need to mop my kitchen floor, um, but I have to buy a mop. I have to get a real mop for that. But anyway, I think we're gonna go out to dinner with some friends tonight. It's already about 2.30. I usually try to wrap up these vlogs around 2.30, 3 o'clock, so I know that I can get them done and edited and they are ready to go for tomorrow morning. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really, really do. And I thank everybody for the wonderful, kind comments that you guys have been leaving lately. I love it. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow in Angie Wonderland. Be kind to one another. Bye.